All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Duna Base Camp in Hoyo CEV Expansion Mod, which is being made by form user Silent Velcro, and is yet another wonderful addition to the Lonesome Robots Aerospace series of parts. And specifically, what this mod is actually doing is expanding upon two of Silent Velcro's previous mods, both of which we have looked at in separate videos. The first of which is the Hoyo CSM. This particular mod now allows it to be converted over to the CEV variant. And the second mod that this expands upon is the DADV Lander, which, I mean, before you just had the awesome Duna Lander. Now you also get the Duna Base Camp Space Station that goes with it, and it is gorgeous. So let's jump right on into the Vehicle Assembly Building and have a look at what all we do get in this mod. So let's uh, start out by grabbing our usual Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake and turning on our mod filters to just have lonesome robots part showing. And we'll be starting, after I zoom out a little bit there, with the DBC command module. Now this is sort of the main core of the Duna base camp station and it is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. All those wonderful fuel tanks and a central core section for your Kerbals to live in. And it does in fact hold four Kerbal crew members, but is an unmanned command pod, so you can always send them into the DADV lander for their missions. Now, it does also come equipped with a data transmitter, SAS, a crew report for science, 400 electric charge, 3,060 liquid fuel, 400 monopropellant, and 3,700. 740 oxidizer so is quite nice and does also include an interior view for that central core area which is pretty awesome now next we go into fuel tanks now this part is for the Hoyo of course you can see there and we have the CEV liquid fuel tank now this actually does have its own built-in RCS thrusters down at the bottom nearby where the engine goes as you can see we have all these lovely RCS thrusters here it also does hold 200 electric charge, 1,575 liquid fuel, 200 monopropellant, and 1,925 oxidizer, and is a pretty cool little fuel tank. And as you can see, these little bits down at the bottom, those are the RCS thrusters, which is awesome. And you know, giving you a little bit of extra control built right into your fuel tank. Let's actually ditch that as it is a pretty large part there and head to engines next. Now, both of these also go with the Hoyo, and the first one is meant to go after you have the capsule and the sort of uh, smaller fuel tank, which I'm suddenly forgetting the proper name of. Wow, my brain today. But this is a monopropellant powered engine to go beyond, behind that, which does have an alternator on it, but has an engine, of course, that does a max of 240 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum with an ISP of 420 in vacuum using monopropellant and is pretty pretty fun little engine. I actually quite like it. It's, uh, you know, a fun little unique color. We don't often see white engines here and is very nicely made. I love just all the little details to it. It is a good engine. Now the next one actually goes under the uh, CEV liquid fuel tank here and this is the main liquid fuel engine. Let's pop that on. Again, a lot of gorgeous detail and does have, if we can bring back up the stats there. Perfect. Again, a built-in alternator. This one does have gimbling of 4 degrees and has a max thrust of 750 kilonewtons in vacuum and 440 engine ISP also in vacuum. Of course, this one being a liquid fuel and oxidizer and overall a pretty nice little engine, but let's chuck that thing off and zoom back out. There we go. Now, we have nothing in command and control and structural, though. We do have the DBC structural module, which is meant to be sort of a... Uh 
a central docking port for the Duna Base camp. You'll have uh, like one of these sections on either side of it, along with another part we're going to get into a little bit. And then this provides you with a lovely set of four potential docking ports around the exterior of it for you to, you know, do what you need to do. Now, next in coupling, we do have a DBC berthing mechanism, a just, you know, nice sized docking port there for you to connect all the parts together with. We also do have a Hoyo CEV adapter, so you can use this to then put under the uh, CEV liquid fuel tank there, so you have uh, that to then connect it to the rest of your rocket as just a nice little covering. We then also have the Hoyo SM or decoupler here, which again is uh, an adapter like the previous one, but then this goes between the liquid fuel tank and then the rest of the Hoyo CSM system on top of that. But yes, is a good little decoupler there. Now we have nothing in payload, nothing in aerodynamic dynamics and nothing in ground, but in thermal, we do have a lovely DBC ammonia radiator, which actually goes onto the tanks like that and fits perfectly on there, which I think looks quite cool. It's got that nice bit of wiring hugging around the uh, fuel tank there. And of course, being a radiator, we can extend that outward and, you know, get rid of all the heat. It is an active one, so it will require a bit of electricity, but overall is a good thing to have. Now, next in electrical, we've got two things. The first being the DBC solar panel, which is a really cool blade looking thing, which once you do extend, there you go. Nice, big circular uh, solar panel there. And then of course we have a Hoyo solar panel to go on to sort of the main capsule bit, where if we extend is more of your uh, sort of straight out uh, traditional solar panel. Very fun, both good additions and both have tracking, which is always good. Now, next in communication, we do have the DBC high gain antenna, which if we zoom in on this part here, uh, kind of extends outward, which really actually it spins around and then pops out the little antenna. So there you go, you have an antennae. And then we have in science, the sort of main living section for the DBC Duna, or well, the Duna Base Camp Station, where we have, if we zoom out again, this is meant, if I kind of reposition these things, to have the fuel tanks here, and then the DBC Science Lab right there. And just like with this central bit here with the fuel tanks, this too does have an internal view, so you can have all your Kerbals in there, which is lovely, and it does hold four Kerbals in total. It is a functioning science lab, and also does hold 500 electric charge, which is pretty cool, and it has an amazing interior. I love having just all the space that it gives you inside there it is pretty cool and uh, I believe that yes that is it nothing in utility so let us actually exit out of here and go to space where I have assembled the Duna base camp and also for reasons because I just have this mod installed thrown onto it the uh, liquid fuel tank and engines for the Hoyo you know so it's a space station with power I mean Technically, that does make it a ship rather than a station, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Here is my lovely Duna base camp station, which of course I did have to put around Duna. It was a necessity. And yes, as you can see, we have the two science labs connected to this sort of central structural bit with our uh, command module slash giant liquid fuel tanks on either side. And we do have the science lab, which again is a functioning science laboratory, so we can start research here. We got our awesome giant solar panels, the really cool radiators. I just, I really love how the wires on that hug that tank. It is very cool. And of course, in the back end, and we have the Hoyo stuff sort of slapped on haphazardly, but it is nice because it does give us a, uh, you know, lovely RCS uh, thrusters down there, which is handy to have. There we go. But yes, that is, uh, that is everything on the exterior. Uh, effectively, this chunk right here is what you would have for the Duna base camp, and then you'd launch your Hoyo CEV with this chunk back here to then, you know, come out this way. 
and then use the DADV lander, which was that separate mod, to then actually land on the red planet. Now let's actually take a look at the interiors on this thing. Let's uh, turn off the RCS there, and the SAS, what the heck. Now in the first view here, this is that main command section, where we have uh, seats for our four Kerbals, and this is, uh, you know, pretty well decked out with asset props, and of course roster prop monitor there, so we have a lot of good options for things, which is cool. And overall, it's just a fun and beautiful little section of a space station. We have, of course, our second seat here. Oh, wonderful. Pretty much all the same stuff as on the other side, but is on the opposite uh, end of this little cylinder. And then we have the sort of two passenger seats here with, ah, uh, look at that wonderful smile and Valentina. Always good. And, uh, yeah, so that is the command module section. So let's head into the science lab, which is awesome. Look at all the room we have back there, and all of the freaking windows. We got windows over there, right there, up there, basically all the way around. And it is just great. And again, we have four seats in here, so this is the second view. Again, lots of great uh, asset props, etc. Very nice. Then we have this view. We actually do have those two Kerbals are technically seated, but technically floating, which I, I kind of like about this little section. Instead of everyone having a chair like these two here, those two actually are just kind of free floating, which is pretty cool. And then yes, the final seat in there, and a good view of the rest of the science lab. It is beautiful. And of course we have the same deal on the other side of the ship. There we go, going through all those guys. But there there we are, the Lonesome Robots Aerospace Duda Base Camp and Hoyo CEV Expansion. It is a wonderful set of parts that really will allow you to make some awesome things, especially if, of course, you use them with the other mods they were meant to expand. I especially love having the Duna Base Camp. I have been waiting for Silent Velcro to make it ever since he did the DADV Lander, and it is everything I had hoped for and more. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which you really, really should give it a try, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed. And of course, that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now it's time to move this space station for, you know, reasons. Later, folks!